In this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super, the climactic battle between Goku and Hit comes to an explosive end. Monaka finally enters the ring, and Beerus and Champa collectively crap their pants when they get a surprise visit from Zeno, the Omni King, the ruler of the 12 universes. And just like that, the tournament between Universe 7 and Universe 6 is over. This week's episode was very exciting. Goku, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken taken on Hit, whose powers continue to evolve even in this week's hard-hitting and awesome episode. They immediately pick up from last week where Goku just launched a big Kamehameha blast right at Hit, and he was able to use his time skip abilities to get right around that attack. Right after this, Goku and Hit get ready to go into their final assault, which is honestly pretty awesome, but I don't feel it was as exciting as last week's episode. That being said, since this is a tournament setting and they're not allowed to kill each other, they technically can't go all out. And that's when Goku suggests to both Beerus and Shampa if they get rid of the rules so this way Hit can go full powered like he's going to kill Goku and this will allow them to basically have the perfect fight. But Beerus and Shampa argue about the rule and eventually they just get tired of all of this and Goku promises Hit that they will have a more better proper fight at some point in the future, although Hit's a little worried about what Beerus and Shampa are going to do, although Goku is hinting at the fact that they might become more powerful than them and they won't even have to worry about that anymore. So Goku just jumps out of the ring and Hit wins by default! This is not how I wanted this fight to go down. Honestly, I wanted Goku to have a solid victory. It's been a while since he's had one, especially after he unleashed the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, which I felt was just really awesome and such a classic return to form. I still love everyone's reactions to seeing that so much from the last episode. But there it is, I guess, Hit and Goku are going to meet at some point in the future, or maybe they just made a brand new friend who's going to be an ally to them, because Hit's not exactly a villain. He's a Hitman. It's just, he, it's his job job. It's what he does. And if anything, he thanks Goku for the fact that he did help him learn all of this. And then we finally get to the biggest battle of this week's episode, which is when Monaka literally crashes into the ring. Like, he tries to make this big flashy entrance, just ends up making him look like an idiot. Him and his jello squiggly legs. He's just a really funny character. And I almost kind of hoped that he was going to do something kind of cool, something like really devastating and powerful. But no, Monaka is an absolute weakling. He tries to punch Hit once, it doesn't do anything, and Hit is so embarrassed by all of this and he wants to thank Goku in a way, so he decides to pull an Android 18 and does this over-the-top exit by exploding himself out of the ring and Monaka wins, which means Universe 7 has won the tournament. That is right. And it was pretty obvious that this was going to happen. If they were really bold, they would have gone with the decision to make Universe 6 win. This way we could switch the Earths and they would be able to have adventures in this brand new universe. But clearly they have something else in mind. At the end of the episode, this is when things start to get really interesting. Because Shampa is basically just pissed at all of his fighters. And he's basically getting ready to just blow them all away. When suddenly, we have the appearance of three brand new characters. Who seem to just teleport themselves into the middle of the ring. There are these two guards who are really tall looking and have these weird like antenna on the top of their heads. But despite how like goofy looking they actually look, especially in their faces, they look like they have some really awesome fighting abilities. And I really want to see them in action, mostly because of how tall they are, so I can't wait to see that. But they are actually the guards of Zeno, the Omni King, the ruler of the 12 universes of Dragon Ball. That's right. This weird little tiny blue alien just shows up who has a football head, very much like Stewie and Hey Arnold, and he's just all smiley and happy looking, but Beerus and Shampa are shitting their pants. They're absolutely freaked out when this guy pops up, and it could be simply because he is just the ruler basically the actual god of the Dragon Ball universe, or maybe he is really powerful himself. Never judge a book by its cover, especially with the deities in the Dragon Ball universe. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super? I have to be perfectly honest with you guys. While I loved this episode, I'm disappointed by the fact that Goku decided to basically throw the match and jump outside of the ring. I wanted to see so much more action between him and Hit, but really, this whole arc was 
kind of like an appetizer, getting us prepared for all of the big crazy adventures which are getting ready to happen after this arc. And I'm glad that this has like surpassed the manga, so there's no spoilers. Every week's episode is just going to be completely unique, and I have no idea what's going to be coming. And I did not expect those three characters to show up at the end, especially this guy who is Zeno who just, like I said, you can't judge a book by its cover. This guy could end up being really powerful. He might go through a transformative state. Maybe he's so powerful that he won't transform at all. I think that would be really cool. And like I said, I think his guards just look awesome. And aside from all of the cool action scenes and Monaco being ridiculous this week, there was also a lot of other smaller moments which were really humorous. Like the fact when Goku is shaking hands with the king of the universe, the, uh, the weird squid guy, apparently he was holding his dick. That's right, Goku was touching some alien wang. One thing I do have to say about this week's episode is I think one of the most exciting parts of it is actually the preview for next week's episode. So we're about to get into some spoiler territory. In next week's episode, they are going to use the Super Dragon Balls to make a wish. And we are actually going to see what this dragon is going to look like. And they definitely show it in the preview. And it is this gloriously golden, gigantic dragon. I cannot wait to see how big this thing really is. They imply that it is going to be, without a doubt, the most massive dragon that we have seen in the series. But the fact that it's large and golden just makes so much sense. And I can't wait to see this thing and how it's going to react to everyone. How it's going to react in front of the gods. Even Zeno himself, who seems to be a very important character. I mean, for Beerus and Champa to be that nervous... That's a really big deal in the series. I mean, the power levels in Dragon Ball are getting absolutely ridiculous at this point, but I still can't wait to see how they're going to change it up, and I'm really excited for the next arc of the series. I have no idea where they're going. It's going to be cool. There's a lot of rumors that Trunks from the future is going to return. I think that would be pretty cool, but I still want to see some more new stuff. There's also going to be characters from Dr. Slump who are also going to be appearing, which is another manga series. Very comedy heavy that was also created by Akira Toriyama. So the sky is the limit for what this next arc of Dragon Ball Super is going to bring. Despite the fact that I didn't care for how this week's fight ended, I have to say that this is still a really entertaining episode of Dragon Ball Super. Lots of cool action moments. Monaco was really hilarious. All the side characters are really funny, and the appearance of this Omni King is a really big deal for the series. So, loved it. Five out of five. Check it out, Dragon Ball fans. You're definitely going to see something you like, and it's going to get you even more pumped up for the brand new arc in Dragon Ball. Ball Super. But if any of you guys watched this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super, why don't you tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. You guys are awesome! Thank you for watching this review. I really appreciate it. Make sure to share this video with your friends, and if you would like to, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to see all of our cool videos. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby!